good morning. I want to thank the individuals who've joined us here this morning. Senator Schumer, Mayor Bill de Blasio, Congressman Meeks, our Borough President Donovan Richards, as well as Borough President Adams. We're here today because of a devastating storm that shocked the people of this city. And to even the morning after, we're still uncovering the true depth of the loss. The human loss, which is hard to imagine that people simply in their cars, in their homes, in their basements, succumb to a, the ravages of a brutal storm, and their families must just be in such pain this morning. So to all of them, we offer our love, our condolences, and our wishes for their healing, and we'll be there to support them. And this is all precipitated by last night's record-shattering rainfall. And what's so fascinating is that the records that were broken in Central Park, for example, 3.15 inches in one hour, it broke a record literally set one week earlier. That says to me that there are more, no more cataclysmic, unforeseeable events. We need to foresee these in advance and be prepared. And we learned a lot of lessons. From Sandy, we built back resiliency. Our coastal shorelines are in much better shape than they had been. But where we have a vulnerability is in our streets with the higher elevations now, where the flash floods, which were unknown before, this is the first time we've had a, flush, a flash flood event of this proportion in the city of New York and in the under, outlying areas. We haven't experienced this before, but we should expect it the next time. And that means we have to continue investments in infrastructure, working in partnership with our federal government and support from Senator Schumer and President Biden who are working so hard, so hard to get the infrastructure dollars back to our state so we can build this up, working in partnership with the mayor and other officials to work collaboratively and get this done so we can take care of the drainage shortcomings in our streets because when the streets get flooded, what happens next? The water rushes down, not just through the highways, but also finds its way to penetrate our subway system. And as a result, what happened yesterday, trains were shut down, people were stranded. The fear that they must have experienced when this occurred, I cannot imagine. And I don't want this to happen again. Moments ago, I was on the phone with the White House. President Biden called, offered any assistance. He repeated any assistance that the state of New York needs. I told him we'll take him up on that. And what happens next, we'll be doing on the ground assessments of the damage with the FEMA teams, our local partners, and making sure we get a true accounting of the loss. But he promised that he'll guarantee, he said, I guarantee you, I will approve any declaration you need, emergency declaration, so we can get the money flowing to New York to our municipalities, to our cities, to our citizens, the businesses affected, and certainly to the homeowners. And also with respect to the homeowners who've experienced the flooding in their own basements, I've directed the Department of Financial Services to be in contact immediately with our insurance providers so they get people on the ground. Show up in these neighborhoods, get your claims adjusters, let them start filing to get reimbursed for the damages. We have mobile units on the ground to this end as well. What I wanted to do first was assess where we are today, but my next question is, where are we going next? How do we prevent this from happening? How do we get money to the, and resources to the places we can build up the resiliency in streets? Before we worried about the coastal areas, now it's about what's happening in the streets, the drainage systems that need to be enhanced, and all the resiliency we can embed because, because of climate change, Unfortunately, this is something we're going to have to deal with with great regularity, and we want to let assure all New Yorkers that we're prepared for this, and we'll do everything we can in our power to protect human life and property. Thank you very much. With that, I'd like to introduce Senator Schumer, who's been very engaged as we spoke this morning already, and I want to thank him for his partnership. Oh, Senator, yeah, sorry. Okay. Thank you, Governor. And uh, first, my two, my condolences and heart and prayers to all of the families who have lost loved ones. Imagine the horror of you're sitting in your own basement apartment and the water just floods in all of a sudden with no notice and you struggle to get out, but you can't. It's an awful, awful situation and our hearts go out to them. Uh, I too want to thank 
all of our New Yorkers at the city and the state level, as well as the other localities, who always go all out. Unfortunately, we in New York have experienced too many emergencies in the last decade. And the one thing we've learned through these emergencies is how strong New Yorkers are and how much our public servants want to go all out and risk their lives to preserve other people's lives. And we thank them. I'm going to make two points here. Number one, we will do everything we can to get all of the federal aid that's needed. We did this after Sandy. We've done it after many other storms upstate. The governor knows when we work together on these storms upstate. And I spoke this morning to FEMA Administrator Deanne Criswell. The good news here is you know what her job was before she was FEMA Administrator. Amen. Amen. She was the city's OEM um, uh, commissioner. So she knows New York well. We will fight and make this, make New York declared a disaster area. I've spoken to the White House as well. And that will mean money, money for homeowners and individuals, money for small businesses that may have been lost, and money to our city, state, and other local governments for the amount of money that they've had to lay out to deal with this crisis. And I will make sure, as I have in the past, that no stone is left unturned and all of the federal largesse. In the federal government, we know when a disaster hits one area, the whole country comes together and helps. And that's what we're going to ask here for New York, just as we are helping in California with the fires and out west with the fires, etc. And that relates to my second and final point. Global warming is upon us. When you get two record rainfalls in a week, it's not just coincidence. When you get all the changes that we have seen in weather, that's not a coincidence. Global warming is upon us, and it's going to get worse and worse and worse unless we do something about it. And that's why it's so imperative to pass the two bills, the infrastructure bill and the budget reconciliation bill. The second deals with climate change and will reduce the amount of carbon we've put in the atmosphere by 50 percent by 2030. The first bill de deals with infrastructure and built into that infrastructure is something I have started fostering with Sandy. That we don't just build infrastructure but we build resilient infrastructure. So when these floods or fires or anything else occurs, they are much more resistant. And you saw some results of that from the Sandy money, but we need much more of it. And these bills do that. Woe is us if we don't recognize these changes are due to climate change. Woe is us if we don't do something about it quickly, both in building resilient infrastructure and going to clean power, whether it's in homes, in electricity, in transportation, to stop the global warming or at least reduce its awful effects on this country. I want to thank the governor for being here right on the spot. I want to thank the mayor. He's always available. Our borough president, our great congressman who I work with on these federal issues, Greg Meeks, John Liu, Danique Miller, and everyone who is here. Thank you. And now it's my honor to call on Mayor de Blasio. Come on, Mayor. Thank you, Senator. Senator Schumer's right. We are in a whole new world now. Let's be blunt about it. We saw a horrifying storm last night, unlike anything we have seen before. And this is a reality we have to face. Unfortunately, the price paid by some New Yorkers was horrible and tragic. We have now lost nine New Yorkers to this storm. Nine people who were alive at this exact moment yesterday. No idea that such a horrible fate could befall them. Families in mourning right now, we need to be there for them and for all the New Yorkers who right now are dealing with the results of this horrifying storm. I want to thank Senator Schumer. We spoke earlier today. I know he will get us the maximum federal aid. Our homeowners need it. Our business owners need it. People are going through hell right now. They need help. I thank President Biden and Senator Schumer for being willing immediately to help. Governor Hochul, we spoke repeatedly last night, this morning. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you.
for the way the state of New York responded. We are truly all in this together. And storms affect all of us. But what we've got to recognize is the suddenness, the brutality of storms now. It is different. A record set two weeks ago, another record set now, rainfall like we haven't seen ever before. This is the biggest wake-up call we could possibly get. We're going to have to do a lot of things differently and quickly. But what is a constant is our first responders. I want to thank the men and women of the FDNY and EMS, NYPD, Environmental Protection, all the agencies that were out in force last night rescuing hundreds and hundreds of New Yorkers. So many lives were saved because of the fast, courageous response of our first responders. People helped from a subway train safely. People helped out of a car in a flooded area. This happened literally hundreds of times last night. And God bless our first responders who were there. We've got a lot of work to do right now to help New Yorkers recover. But we also have a lot of work to do to change the very approach. I agree with the governor. It's time for an entirely different approach because we're getting a signal here. And it's not going to be easy. We're going to need all that help possible from the federal government. But in our time, we have to make this change. We've gotten the message we have to make a change to protect the lives of the people of this city. Thank you.